Welcome to Golden Software's video training for Grapher. Grapher is a powerful 2D and 3D graphing software package. In this video, I will cover how to create and edit classed and unclassed Piper plots. Also known as trilinear diagrams, Piper plots are used to visualize the abundance of ions in rock, soil, or water samples for hydrogeological and groundwater analysis applications. Piper plots are created from two ternary diagrams depicting the normalized milliequivalent percentages of anions and cations, and a central diamond plot created by projecting the points from the two ternary diagrams parallel to their interior axis until they meet. To create a Piper plot, click Home, New Graph, Ternary, Piper Plot. In the Open Worksheet dialog, select a new or open data file and click Open. The plot is created. To create a Piper class scatter plot, click Home, New Graph, Ternary, Piper class scatter plot. In the Open Worksheet dialog, select a new or open data file and click Open. The plot is created. To edit the background line and fill properties, the title properties, and the distance between plots, Select the graph in the Object Manager and edit the appropriate property in the Property Manager. To edit the properties of a Piper plot, select one of the ternary plots or the diamond plot in the Object Manager. The properties are displayed in the Property Manager. Certain properties are unique to each plot, where others are shared amongst the three plots. Data columns on the Plot page and Label properties on the Labels page are unique to each plot. The worksheet on the plot page and the properties on the data limits, symbol, and line pages are shared, so changing these properties for one plot affects all plots. The cation, anion, and diamond plots contain all the same properties, with one exception. The diamond plot does not have the plot options to set worksheet and data columns, since the points in the plot are based off of the other two plots, rather than taken from the data file. Piper class scatter plots contain the same properties as Piper plots, but there are additional plot properties for setting a class column, editing classes, and displaying a legend. Class columns entries can be text or numeric. To edit the classes, click the Edit button in the Classes field. In the Edit Classes dialog, the number of classes and the class method are listed at the top. These determine how many classes you have and how the data entries are split up into the classes. When the method is name, the number of classes will automatically update to the number of unique entries in the class column. But classes can still be added or subtracted by increasing or decreasing the number of classes. Below these fields are the classes themselves. Double click on any entry in a particular row to edit the class name and or symbol properties for just that class. Alternatively, Edit the symbol properties for all classes by clicking the Classes Symbol button. And edit the size for all symbols by clicking the Symbol Sizes button. Symbols can be all the same size, or they can be scaled from a minimum size at a given increment. Apply coloring based on a gradient by clicking the Apply Gradient button and selecting the gradient from the Gradients list. Click OK. Next to the Apply Gradient button, you can select what you'd like the gradient to apply to. Classes can be saved by clicking the Save button, and GCL class files can be loaded by clicking the Load button. For Piper plots, one common use of classes is to designate where the samples were collected. 
Piper Plot axes can also be edited by adjusting the properties in the Property Manager. All Piper Plot axes, whether corresponding to a ternary or diamond, classed or unclassed plot, have the same properties. On the Axis page are Scale and Position properties. The ability to display labels on a 0 to 100 scale rather than a 0 to 0 0.1 scale, and title properties. Position and limits properties are the only axes properties that affect all axes. On the ticks page are properties pertaining to the display of major and minor ticks. Additionally, there's an option for the direction of the ticks. Ticks can be perpendicular to the axis line, angled in the direction of both grid lines that meet at that axis, or parallel to their grid lines. On the labels page are properties pertaining to axis labels. And on the line page are line properties for the axis, ticks, grid lines, and label leader lines. This concludes the video training for Piper Plots and Graffer. If you have any additional questions, please contact Golden Software.